Welcome back to Air Sliding. I'm still Demon Trigger. And I'm still me, Fighter Knuckles. And we're gonna go get Gravity Hold because it's the most broken weapon in this game. I am looking forward to seeing how it is used now, actually, in this video. Alright. First off, we got, you know, the regular enemies because... Honestly, besides a couple of the other levels and most of the castle levels, most of these don't really, you know, have air sliding that much for important, like, platforming challenges. And I just missed that extra uh, E-Tank because I didn't, I air slided back up there, so I didn't have an air slide. Yeah, and you can't air slide more than once. Yeah. Just, naturally. Well, yeah, because otherwise you just float forever and that's kind of cheating. Although that, that, that is kind of cheating. Don't you have to use, like, Rush Jet or something to get that? Uh, no, you just... Well, I mean, if you don't fall into it right away, I mean... Yeah. You, you have to go the long way around or use Rush Jet since you don't have Rush Coil. Yeah. Gonna ignore those chickens. Here's one of the few times in this stage where air sliding is actually needed to cross something. So, that's... They're really giving you the bonuses, huh? Yeah. Like I said, it's not that hard of a game. I mean, there's a couple stages where it's really difficult, but otherwise, it's kind of easy. This is kind of a fun place. Little gravity tunnel where you can change the gravity as you want to, so. Also, one of the good things about Charge Kick is you can slide across gaps like that. Pretty easy. Makes it useful! Yeah. More than just for killing things, which is really good for that too, so... Well, if it's if it's a weapon that can't kill things, it's not a very good weapon now, is it? Well, there is Power Stone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I gotta switch to Mega Buster and not oh, shit. Oh well. Mega Man Menus. <laughs> How... Mm. Yeah. But it's okay already... to get another M-Tank, so... Yep, I, I kind of personally found M-Tanks to be kind of... I don't want to necessarily say pointless, but... Yeah, it's like you get one and then you don't ever use it because you might need it for something later. Yeah, it, it's that kind of thing with like people who hoard really good items in JRPGs. Yeah. It's the same thing. But anyway, we're supposed to go up because that's where the boss is. Ignore these Which guys. is right there, actually. Ignore those guys because those guys are chumps. It's a very nice, convenient speed boost of sorts, really. Yeah. So Gravity Man's significantly easier than Charger Man, just shoots bullets everywhere and they kind of just stay there. He just kind of walks slowly towards you like, oh, I'm gonna get you, or oh, whatever. He tries to trap you, but it seems like the air dashing kind of trivializes this a bit. Yeah. Then also, you don't really take that much damage, you deal more damage faster to him than he does to you, so... I mean, like, you can easily air dash when you're about to fall on a bullet pretty easily. Yeah. So now we're gonna use the charge cake to do the Super Kirby dance, because why not? It's faster. It's twice the dance, half the Kirby. And, of course, we get Gravity Hold for that, but Gravity Hold is definitely very broken in this game. With 28 also shots. Oh, that's... that's it a lot of ammo. Yeah, and considering you kill most things in, a, in at most, like, four gravity holds, it's really ridiculous. Yikes. Well, we'll see that in use in the next one, so... Bye. See ya.